first at five in the last few hours, Douglas County Sheriff's deputies arrested a fourth suspect in connection to a shooting that killed two teens after a party earlier this month. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Faith Jesse. Three other teenagers were arrested in the murder case on Tuesday. Tracy A. McPierce spoke with both victims families and the sheriff today about the arrest. Sheriff Tim Pounds tells me tips helped lead to these arrests, but the callers didn't even want the $40,000 reward. Now the families of the victims are just thankful arrests have been made. You know, yesterday we laid Samuel to rest and um, we were leaving the cemetery and we got the news and it was a bittersweet moment uh, for us. Samuel Moon's uncle says their family is relieved that arrests were made 10 days after the 15 year old was shot and killed along with 14 year old Ajene Hill after a party on Sitka Road in Douglasville. These are the three suspects arrested on Tuesday. 17-year-old twins Chase and Chance McDowell and 18-year-old Timothy Lamar Coleman. Then, this afternoon, seen here, deputies arrested a fourth suspect, 17-year-old Kingston Cotman. Sheriff Tim Pound says he was there for all the arrests and shared this video of the first three suspects being taken in. All four are charged with murder, aggravated assault, and gang charges. To, to just think and imagine that we are now part of something that is gang-related and this has a connection to a gang is just mind-blowing. Ajene's mother, Chanel White, was also surprised at the gang connection. Well, this is my first time hearing about being gang-related when I just start talking to you guys. At a press conference this morning, Sheriff Pounds showed a 9 millimeter handgun that was found on one of the suspects when they were arrested. Pound says it may have been used on March 4th. White sending this message to other teens in Douglas County. If you're carrying weapons, leave them at home, turn them in, do something. It's just not worth your life. Sheriff Pounds tells me this is an ongoing investigation and more suspects could be arrested. In Douglas County, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News. And our thoughts are with those families and that community today.